Hey, welcome back. We're looking at Exodus 3, verses 16 to 18, God and Moses having the conversation and about just how we're going to do these things here. And God is laying it out for Moses. Now, Moses has a lot of questions and objections. Let's read on and see what we have here. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say to them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I am indeed concerned about you and what has been done to you in Egypt. So I said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt to the land of the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Amorite and the Perizzite and the Hivite and the Jebusite, to a land flowing with milk and honey. They will pay heed to what you say, and you with the elders of Israel will come to the king of Egypt, and you will say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. So now please let us go a three days journey into the wilderness that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. So the elders are an important part of the equation here, and God is sending Moses to the elders of Israel. He needs to convince them, persuade them to uh, kind of be on board on this plan of deliverance. And so that's where this is going, and Moses is concerned about it. Now God says at verse 18, the elders will be persuaded, you know, to go ahead and go along with this. But, you know, it's kind of interesting here. Do you remember? Did you ever remember that in verse 18, it says not only that Aaron and Moses are to appear before Pharaoh, but they're supposed to appear before Pharaoh with the elders of Israel standing with them. Now, if you go up to Exodus 5, and we're going to be there soon, we're working our way in that direction, right? I don't want to get too far ahead here, but yeah, when we get there, guess what? You're not going to find any sign, any evidence at all that any of the elders showed up at that meeting with Pharaoh and Moses and Aaron. You know, it kind of seems like, you know, they all kind of had a dental appointment that day and just couldn't make it. Sorry about that. I would have been there, but yeah, the dog ate my homework. So they're not going to show up. Now, we're, that's to come. But it's interesting here that in God's plan, it would have been, Moses and Aaron and the elders of Israel all standing together. And we're going to find out tomorrow that Pharaoh's still going to resist that. But we're also going to find out that the elders are nowhere inside. And this is kind of a problem. This is a, a really substantive problem in the church today. Where are the leaders? Where are the leaders? To really find a serious type, you know, leader type person today, Boy, I mean, that's that's like finding gold. You know, I've, I've talked to people that, you know, run small businesses and businesses, you know, and they say uh, they're having a lot of trouble with some of the younger people today. I'm not trying to hit on the young people, but, you know, they're having trouble finding people that have kind of a work ethic. And apparently, uh, previous generation hasn't necessarily taught super well, taught a lot of people to, you know, work hard and, and get ahead. And that, that ethic's sort of fallen away. And if they can find one good employee out of 15 or 20 that they hire, one that's, you know, uh, sort of halfway rational and able to do what they're told to do, why, why they count themselves very fortunate. And so the, the businessmen are, you know, looking for somebody that just has just basic, a basic work ethic. And uh, there's, there's a real lack of leadership here among the elders of Israel. And so that's a, that's a dangerous thing. And the church should have the premium, should have serious leaders, but instead... Uh, just as the world, we, we have a great lack of leadership. So, yeah, and, and the problem is, is not just outside of you and me. It includes you and I. We've surely not done enough or as we should have. But Moses is always called to bring the elders along. But they, uh, they say they'll be there. But guess what? On the big day, they are going to be apparently nowhere to be seen. So the elders are persuaded, sort of. And we'll leave it there this morning and see you next time.